Thank you for joining us today. I'm Kyle Wood. I'm an assistant professor and urologist, and we're going to talk about ureteroscopy. Today we're going to talk about the surgery day, the equipment that's used during ureteroscopy, some of the most known complications, ureteral stents, and what to expect post-procedurally and in follow-up. Almost all ureteroscopy is a same-day surgery, meaning that you will be able to go home afterwards. This does mean you will need someone to drive you because you will require general anesthetic. Surgery can take a number of hours to perform and complete, and the majority of patients take about 19 hours off of work, so you may need to inform your, your work that you may need time off. We have a, multiple different pieces of equipment that we use to remove your kidney stones during your ureteroscopy. We will be going into your urethra, which is the tube that connects your bladder to the outside world. Once in the bladder, we access the tube that connects your kidney to the bladder, which is known as the ureter. All of this is done with small cameras, and there are no incisions. Sometimes the ureters, the tubes that connect the kidney to the bladder, are extremely narrow, requiring small instruments. We sometimes cannot get up these ureters because of how narrow they are and you will either require balloon dilation of the ureter or placement of a ureteral stent. If we place a ureteral stent, that will allow for passive dilation of the ureter, and we may need to perform surgery at a later date to be able to go up and remove the kidney stones. This occurs usually in about 10% of individuals. During surgery, we do everything in our power to limit your risk of complications but the major risks of ureteroscopy are infection, bleeding, damage to any of the structures that we are accessing with our instruments, and stricture disease. The ureteral stricture disease occur usually less than 1 to 2 percent of the time, but this can result in loss of kidney and possible need for reconstruction. Most often, the patients that undergo ureteroscopy complain about their ureteral stents that are placed after surgery. This stent is essential to protect the kidney and the ureter. They are not permanent and they will need to be removed. Sometimes we leave strings attached to them, which you will see coming outside of the urethra. We will instruct you when to pull these stents out if there are strings attached. Other times there are no strings and we will have you come back to the clinic to have the stent removed. Again, these stents are not per permanent, and it is essential that they get removed at some point. The reason why we're discussing ureteral stents, it is the number one issue following ureteroscopy. Some patients will say it's the worst part of the procedure. With the stent in place, you may experience hematuria, or blood in the urine. You may experience nausea. Oftentimes, people will complain of flank pain, side pain, and bladder pain with the stent in. The majority of the patients say that this pain is less severe than the stone that was treated. In addition, the stent has a curl in the kidney and a curl in the bladder. The curl in the bladder may make an individual feel like they have to urinate more frequently and may result in some urinary urgency. An important point is that even after you remove your stent, if strings are attached, you may experience symptoms for 24 to 48 hours afterwards. This can be related to the swelling or edema that was present because of the stent, as well as irritation from the stent pull. If your symptoms are not controlled after you remove your ureteral stent, or even if your ureteral stent is in place, you can call the office. In general, you should try to avoid coming to the emergency room. Many of our patients experience long waits in the emergency room waiting room. They often get imaging and are exposed to radiation that is not necessary. In the majority of the time, the emergency room physician or the urologist on call will simply give medication until the stent is removed. Stent colic is very common, and the, ex the symptoms that you experience may be uncomfortable. After stent removal, you may experience these symptoms for 24 to 48 hours. 
The caveat is if you are experiencing fevers or severe symptoms, you should likely go to the emergency room. After the procedure, you can go back to work even with a ureteral stent in place. However, many people do take a few days because of the stent discomfort. If there are strings attached, you will need to be careful not to pull it, the strings out early. The stent is essential to help drain the kidney and we will give you the day that we want you to pull the stent out. Sometimes your stone burden will be so large that you may require another procedure to remove all the stones. In this scenario, we do leave a stent in that you will not be able to see because we will not leave strings on it and we will come back another day to remove all your stones. It is, it is essential that you see us in clinic in follow-up. If you have a stent without strings, you will be scheduled, usually within one to two weeks, for an office-based procedure to remove the stent. Here, we use a small camera while you're awake, and we will go in and we will remove the stent from your bladder. Typically, if we leave strings on the stent, we will ask you to remove the stent in three to five days. We will set you up in one month to follow up with an ultrasound and an x-ray. This is to ensure that the stent was removed and that your kidney has healed appropriately.